Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this webcast, Lessons Learned from PDMA Corporate Innovator Award winners, featuring Brian Utes. My name is Kristen Corrigan, and I'm a member of the PDMA Board of Directors, and I serve on PDMA's Digital Content Committee and coordinate some of these webinars. Before we get started, two quick reminders. The session's being recorded and will be available in the near term for those who want to revisit the session. And second, during the presentation, the audio lines will be muted. So if you have any questions, please use the Q&A feature. And finally, please note that you can toggle captions on and off using the caption feature at the bottom of your screen. I also want to extend a special welcome to PDMA members that are participating today. As a quick reminder, NPDP certified attendees can earn one professional development hour toward renewal by attending this webcast. Next slide, please. PDMA was founded 47 years ago in 1976 as a community of professionals who powered the most recognized, respected, and innovative companies in the world. And today our members span industries and belong to chapters around the world. They network together and take advantage of our offerings to advance their careers. We are also the only professional association specifically focused on bringing in one community to nurture our discipline and spawn innovation. On your screen are some examples of how we do this. For 35 years, our Outstanding Corporate Innovator Award, or OCI, has been the premier award to honor innovators. PDMA's Knowledge Hub, we call it K-Hub, is an excellent online resource for anything innovation. Check it out if you've not been there already. Our, ro our robust body of knowledge, or BOK, is available on Amazon, in print, or ebook format. And PDMA's new product development or NPDP certification provides additional credibility to our candidates. And our academic journal, so JPIM, embodies the latest research and thinking. Next slide, please. On your screen here are a couple upcoming events in the next few months we'd like you to be aware about that PDMA is sponsoring. So on January 11th, we'll have another webcast in partnership with Meteor Consulting called Monitoring Competitive Threats, a Holistic Approach. And this is presented by Susan Penta. And on January 17th, the PDMA Minnesota chapter will be hosting a webcast called Artificial Intelligence Use and in Product Management. And finally, please save the date for our 2024 conference. That's gonna be September 7, uh, 14th through 17th, excuse me, in St. Louis, Missouri. All of these events can be found on the PDMA website. Watch in the chat for a link to our event page to register. Okay, next slide, please. It's my pleasure now to introduce our speaker today, Brian Utes, Senior Director of Global Product Management at Sofion. As a seasoned product professional, Brian has worked in business verticals ranging from retail to finance, and he now helps lead a B2B SaaS company, Product Efforts. Through that experience, he's seen the best parts of small companies operating in startup mode and the advantages of the scale larger organizations can leverage to benefit their customers. Always with an eye towards innovation, Brian uses all of this experience and learning to help his team bring the best possible products and experiences to market, which is just great. We're delighted to have Sofion sponsoring this webinar and supporting the continued learning of professional product management communities. A reminder, you can put your questions right in the Q&A and there'll be time for questions at the end. Now I'd like to welcome our speaker, Brian Utes, over to you. Thank you so much, Kristen, I appreciate it. And uh, as Kristen mentioned, we're here to talk a little bit about lessons learned from the PDMA Corporate Innovator Award winners. And uh, I am Brian Utes. I'm our Vice President of Product Management. Um, so, Kristen, that was just two days ago. So I think we got you the script before that, that happened. Uh, but thank you again for the introduction. And uh, we look forward to having this, this dialogue. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about who Sophion is and then lead into some use cases that we have with our, our previous winners uh, of that OCI award. So uh, looking forward to, to the discussion. As we go through this, please feel free to put your questions in the chat. Uh, Kristen and her team will be taking uh, note of those and, and we'll have time for those at the end here 
uh, but don't feel like you have to hold them to the end of the conversation. So I mentioned I'm Brian Utes and, and I work for Sophion. And the biggest thing that we do is we empower organizations like yours to change the world. And how do we do that? While we provide our organizations with the capability to innovate faster and predictably with alignment of strategy and tactics, which we'll talk a lot about today. And then over uh, the last few months, if you follow Sophie on, you'll notice that we've uh, really hit on this concept of innovation ops and having a, a full range of offerings in that area so that we can cover the entire innovation process uh, for organizations at scale. When we look at uh, the marketplace, we see the same thing that you guys see, right? We see this never ending demand for innovation coming from uh, every corner uh, of your, your day and in, in, in your work. So we see investors looking for growth. We see consumers wanting uh, to work with organizations and companies that are concerned about sustainability. We see uh, increasing market demands. We see the technological advancements that we're all very well aware of, but I promise today's conversation is not gonna be a discussion on generative AI. Uh, so we'll take a break from that and, and talk about this stuff. Uh, and we see that because of this, around two and a half trillion dollars is spent on innovation efforts every single year. So this is an annual number. And we know that we're not the only ones because of this data that see this need for innovation. Right. We talk a lot at, at Sophion about some existential problems uh, that our societies are facing with healthcare costs rising, with uh, the climate change that is happening in the world, and, and countless other uh, challenges that, that you have to deal with in your, your own business and, and in your day to day. And we really believe that the only way that you can solve for a lot of those is through innovation. So. This is encouraging, right? We see two and a half trillion dollars being spent. So we, we must be making strides, right? Well, not exactly, 